so Lee code questions 437 path sum 3 um, the question want you to find the number of path that have a sum that equal to the given target sum so this path must be a consecutive path it cannot be a, something like a subsequence or disjoint subsequence what it means is let's use this example one so we have 10 5 negative 3 11 and 3 2 1 3 negative 2 yeah so if we want to find a target sums that equal to 11 uh, 15 then we can say that the path sums of this is equal to 15 right and what else um 15 13 hmm not really only this so we will output one because there's only one path here yeah so how are we going to solve this well we can iterate each of the nodes uh, in a pre-order sequence pre-order yeah so we go to 10 first 4 by 5 followed by 3 and followed by 3 and then for every for every visitings we have a we compare the current sums from the root all the way towards the current node so the sum is equal to 10 here the sum is equal to 15 the sum is equal to 18 the sum is equal to 21 so if any of these sums is equal to the target then we will increment the count by one but there will be cases such as the path lies between for example 3 and 5 right we have a k equal to 8 so k equal to 8 in this case this will not be accounted for so we also want to check if there's any path uh, for example if here if there's any path that have a post fix of 3 but at the same time the the prefix is not at the root how do we do that we can simply record all the values of the current sums on each stage and put it in the map so we have a map such that this map has a value of 10 15 and 18 right so to find a k equal to 8 we can simply ask if map if this map contains a 18 minus k which is equal to 10 oh we realize that there is a 10 here it means there is some path starting from a node that has a current sum equal to 10 which means there will be another path that have a accumulated sums equal to 18 minus 10 which is 8 here so we simply add this count into our considerations yeah so let's start coding uh, so constant let this out equal to 10 we go to 0 uh, we want to have a map constant map equal to new map to record the status and then we say dfs uh, root target sum 0 and map what is it 0? it's the root target sum current sum and map yeah so let's define these functions constant dfs Oh. 
아크산 카르산 네. 야, for base case. If not, you go you go to now. You will simply return. Otherwise, we check the current sums. So current sums is equal to not dot values. So if current sums is equal equal to the target sum, then we increment the result. And like we said previously, we also want to increment the path that doesn't start at the node at the root level. So for example, this called five plus three equal to eight. To consider this, we want to do something like if uh, map dot has current sum minus. Uh, Target sums. So, if it exists, it means that there is certain uh, path, something like ten here, which also implies that there is another path that equal to the target sums with a post fix at the current at the current nodes. So edge. So when we are at node three, we are expected to have a the metal has a current sum that equal to 10 here so if we exist then we say current sum plus map dot get current sum minus target sum yeah simple as this uh, after that, we want to iterate through the left child and the right child by doing things like nodes dot left target sum current sum and map and this the right child yeah something to note uh, we want to update the state the status of the map so update map by including the current sums such that map dot set uh, current sums is equal to map dot get current sums or zero plus one and after the iterations we want to back check right back checking so we want to reduce this current sum count by doing current sums map dot get current sums minus one yeah pretty straightforward so simply return the result here and let's try it with a test case uh -uh. We output zero. Uh, so let's see what happened. So console dot log. Visiting notes value equal to not the value. And then we also want to lock the status of the map at this point. So it's between 10, 5, 3, 3, negative 2, 2, 1. Hmm, everything seems pretty okay. And at value equal to 3, it has a common sum of 10. And fifteen. Uh -uh. Result plus plus. Hmm. 
seems okay. Seems pretty, seems pretty okay. So, let's check. Is it a bug? No. Console dot not is up. Ah, I see. At this stage, we should increment the updated result instead of updating the current sum. So that's a mistake. So let's try a more complicated test case. Yeah, we pass. And let's remove remove the console log. Well done. So let's perform a time complexity analysis. Uh, we can see that for every current sums of the current nodes from the root values, we will we will store them in the map. So we have a space complexity of O n. What is the time complexity? The time complexity is also O n because we only visit every node once right. and all the up modifications on the map only cost O1 so in total we have a time complexity and space complexity to be O and the N stand for number of nodes um, we also need to consider the stack space so the stack space will be is average of O log n given a balanced binary search sheet for a not balanced tree is O n also so the stack space is also live within the O n so we have a result of O n here for both complexities. Yeah, that's all for these questions. To for the source code, just refer to the GitHub links provided below. And for other legal solutions with the in JavaScript, uh, you can also refer to the GitHub repo below. See you next section.